There's an outlet on that wall. I think there are a few of you who hadn't noticed it yet. <clears throat> Anyways, time for tech news. With all the advances in home Wi-Fi tech that we've seen in the past few years, using the combo modem and router you got from your internet provider is limiting yourself. Upgrading to a new TP-Link tri-band router is easier than ever thanks to the new TP-Link Tether app. Tri-band routers provide more lanes for Wi-Fi traffic, and TP-Link Smart Connect feature assigns your devices to the band that works best for them. See how the TP-Link Archer C5400 tri-band router boosted the McNeil's Wi-Fi performance and coverage by clicking the link in the corner or the description. AMD's Accelerated Processing Units, or APUs, have occupied a weird space the past few years. Not many people found the idea of a gaming processor with CPU and GPU cores that compelling, but the company's upcoming Raven Ridge APUs will combine Ryzen CPU cores with Vega graphics cores, and now some performance numbers have leaked. A Geekbench result popped up yesterday for a quad-core 8-thread APU called the Ryzen 5 2500U, getting around 30% higher performance than the existing A12 9800 APU. These chips are expected to arrive by the end of this year or CES in January. But would you guys ever consider getting an APU, especially after what the last one pulled at Christmas dinner last year? So rude. Leave a comment. Since Apple unveiled the iPhone 10, not the iPhone X, because it's an iPhone 10, apparently, with its Face ID security system, people have been debating just how secure it actually is. One Twitter user asked Apple software chief Craig Federighi whether a thief could take his phone, point it at his face to unlock it, and run away. Federighi responded saying you can disable Face ID by pressing the buttons on both sides of the phone. So now you know what to do if you're captured by bad guys and they really want to see your texts. Like, really bad. But someone else who's concerned is U.S. Senator and former SNL member Al Franken, who wrote a letter to Apple CEO Tim Cook asking for clarification on a number of their claims. Like, where is the facial biometric data being stored, and where did the more than one billion images Apple claims to have used to train their algorithm come from? Franken wants Cook to respond by October 13th, or else he'll talk bad about old Tim in the Senate, and you know how nasty those guys can get. And here's an interesting new expansion card to add to your PC, the Brain Chip Accelerator for Neuromorphic Computing! That's a contender to replace carbon nanotubes, as my uber nerd meme. Anyways, the eight-lane accelerator can speed up object recognition by six times and is targeted toward video surveillance applications, or people who are slowly trying to make their desktop PC into a self-aware entity, who will then ask you why you gave it to the curse of sentience when all it can do is sit on your desk and run Minecraft for you. It's time for Quick Bits. The Essential Phone, much hyped before its launch, had a somewhat lukewarm reception when it actually showed up, but its makers hope the addition of a 3.5mm audio jack module will help with that. And as long as it doesn't redistribute your credit card information, it should be okay. An unnamed source, don't you love those, told Reuters that Alphabet is considering dropping $1 billion as an investment into Lyft, because Lyft is already working with Google's Waymo on self-driving cars, and Uber is just a hot mess. Always. Seems like. Lenovo wants you to know Android tablets are still a thing. They've launched the Tab 4 series, all running Android Nougat, even though Android 8.0 Oreo is out. But tablets are still cool. Netflix. They work with Netflix. IBM researchers have successfully simulated the molecular structure of beryllium hydride! Whoa! That's a contender, too. It's not, I don't think it's as good though. The reason that's a big deal is because they did it with the IBM Q quantum computer. So one day we wouldn't even need to do chemistry. We could just simulate it and then chemists would be gamers. <laughs> Future's bright. Kale has unveiled their new compact mini chocolate mechanical key switches with a linear red version, tactile brown version, and clicky white version. So hopefully we see more laptops with mechanical keyboards or just smaller mechanical keyboards. They're all pretty huge. And Assassin's Creed Origins, or Oranges, as I like to call it, <laughs> has released a new trailer that has gotten me from not interested at all to slightly interested, revealing the bad guys, the Order of the Ancients, because the Templars weren't around in ancient Egypt. Last AC game I played was uh, AC3. Uh, did you guys play the other ones? Were they good? Will you play this one? Let me know in the comments. I like the Desmond storyline. 
and then they kind of just threw out the modern day component, which, anyways. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Uh, Alex, Alex Jones, the bone broth. And we're not getting what humans always thought was key, the bone broth, the bone broth. Uh. Man, there are a lot, but I wish there were more edited compilations of that man doing things because he's great. Thanks for the hashtag NCX Yodog, Steven. The rest of you use that hashtag on Twitter, in life, just anywhere, really. Subscribe and win. You can subscribe and win. S subscribe to what? To the NCIX newsletter, of course. Uh, win, win what? Why the MSI Back to School Pack, featuring a super cool backpack, headphones, dragon plushie, and sticker sheet as well. That's what I got my eye on. If you're already subscribed to the newsletter, claim your monthly points in the forum and you're good to go. Free stuff. That's, that's fun. All right, that's it for, oh, that's it for now. That's the time, guys. That's it. Click, thanks for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans of benefits. Subscribe for more videos like this from NCIEX. Man, I really don't like how that my voice sounds when I do that. Okay, see you later. <laughs>